Hello and welcome to Great News WCDS episode 13. Believe it or not, this is our second to last episode for the school year. So let us waste no more time, tomato, and get started with preschool. Preschool's hard at work getting ready for their end of year showcase. After reading Jan Brett's The Umbrella, preschool was inspired for their final class project, crafting unique animal hats that truly captured the kiddos' imaginations. From plain white ball caps emerged a menagerie of creatures from flamingos, turtles, and monkeys to lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! Each is adorned with paint, fabric, feathers, and other materials. It's been a wild ride of creativity and discovery, and they can't wait to share it with you. Here is Dax with his ultra-realistic looking dog hat. In junior kindergarten, with the gorgeous weather we've had, the children helped clean up their outdoor space, and they enjoyed planting beautiful flowers in the flower boxes. Also, Cookies Week got the Spielberg treatment as they took their performance to the stage for filming. This will be debuted at the Early Childhood Showcase and then on to Sundance Film Festival. After an entire year of practicing writing their name, they were asked to create giant name art for the end of the year. They wrote their name very large or in bubble letter format and added colorful designs and watercolor. After a whole year, I still can't spell onomatopoeia. In senior kindergarten, like sands through the hourglass, these are the days of our lives. Just because school's almost over isn't going to stop SK from learning and having fun. They spent time working on their self-portraits for the end of the year showcase. Nice job, Parker. No time for sleeping, Evie. There are flowers to make as a thank you to Lindsley's ceramics department. Can't wait to see those piggy banks. I have a lot of pennies without a home. Up next is first grade. After reading Miss Rumphius, students brainstormed how to make the world more beautiful. They wrote down their ideas and then planted seeds under the first grade windows. They hoped to see their flowers sprout by the end of May. They created ladybugs from golf balls, which will be placed in the school garden to scare other bugs away. Those golf balls aren't for the driving range, Mr. McDonald. Mm -hmm. In second grade, Avengers Assemble! Iron Man took time from his busy schedule of saving the world to stop by second grade to talk about the importance of... Uh, wait a minute. Jarvis, go to the next picture. Silas! <laughs> Must be show and tell day in second grade. Here, Farrah shows off the world's tiniest horses. And Bo brought in cheese and quackers. Also, the plants have made their way to the garden. We are getting closer and closer to having fresh veggies on our salad bar. In third grade, in drama in third grade, they spent a few class periods writing and rehearsing their own original fractured fairy tales, and this week they finally performed them, and they were quite enjoyable. Here we see the world premiere of Lightning Man Rookie, a heartwarming tale of a baseball player who gets struck by lightning and is rendered slow, so they call him Flash, and he has a magical baseball bat. Tale as old as time. Their geology deep dive allowed students to explore mock rocks. What are those, you ask? They are fake rocks that students were able to decompose. Once the rocks had been picked apart, students then sorted and classified the materials that were found. Minerals, tiny rocks, shells. Students soon learned that rocks contain a wonderful mix of many things. Sadly, no gold was discovered, so we will all have to return to work on Monday. In fourth grade. In drama, fourth grade spent a few class periods rehearsing the Reader's Theater show The Fisherman and His Wife, which carries the message, be happy and grateful for what you have. They got a chance to perform for an appreciative audience, and they did a great job. In STEAM, students took a break and went back to their embryology deep dive from the last trimester. Two chickens were brought into the classroom for students to hold, as well as try to identify their parts. The one in the blue shirt is called a Levi. Ask a fourth grader about the upside-down chicken from science, and have a good laugh with them. Ha 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 ha
Want to see a Gryffindor holding a Slytherin? Ah? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Also, the weather balloon launch is just a week away, and things are looking on track to be the most memorable launch yet. And coming up in middle school. In sixth grade news, here's a Madison Porter. Last week in sixth grade, the students were left all alone by the seventh grade and the eighth grade. The seventh grade left them to go on a fun field trip to Grandview, and the eighth grade was at their internships. Three of our students also learned that New Mexico is not p actually part of Mexico, and people had fun at the pickleball club. Back to you, Mr. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Madison. For seventh grade news, here's Ben Roberts. Come on, Ben. This week in the seventh grade, the students continued their reading of The Legend by Mary Lou, a story of friendship and heartbreak. As the week continued, the 7th grade was excited to go on an overnight trip to Grandview. They enjoyed luxuries like a hot tub, campfire food, endless biking, and getting to stay up past midnight. We promised this segment wasn't included to brag to the rest of the school. Probably. In other news, the 7th grade continues to work on their researching how different parts of the world have different issues with their water and what we can do to help. Back to you, Neb Strebor, whoever that dude is. And we are here at Grandview Park on a field trip from WCDS. I am Ben, and this is Adrian. We're gonna be asking girls some questions. So, what is your favorite part of Grandview? I really like the swings. And was it scary? It was kind of scary. Yeah. How about the uh, high ropes course? Yeah, that's pretty scary. And do you have any ideas for future field trips that the school could do? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe if, uh, maybe if anybody wants to stop near like, a, like farther than the, than the second two courses, then um, maybe they can stop there and maybe they can like, maybe go back and maybe they won't have to like, go into the entire course without like, um, without like, yeah. 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 <laughs> Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Got caught sleeping. Thanks, seventh grade. And we've reached our kind kid shout out. This week, our kind kids come from middle school. We've got Tesla Joseph, Logan Huff, Amelia Shaw, and Layla Calsum. And their teachers just say they're always great. They always have a kind word, they're always smiling, they're always helpful, and they're always together. So, thank you to those four. And we end with our words of wisdom, and these this week's words of wisdom come from the internet. And the internet says, Fair isn't everyone getting the same thing. Fair is everyone getting what they need to succeed. Spelled succeed wrong. Well, great. Well, that does it for Great News WCDS, our second to last episode. Have a great day. Keep the great news coming. We'll see you next week.